All right, another half-assed one because I'm a moron and did not have things set up again, but different video editor, so I actually had to use a different way of recording because files weren't compatible. Don't know why, but here we are. So after figuring that out for the past few days, we get a half-ass track guide. So yeah, the old way like I used to do, fix it fix weather using NIS fix. There's a little bit of a speed difference. So I guess an A, an A fix, you can see anywhere from really high 26s, depending on the weather or, and then NIS it's a little bit slower. So fast guys in the 27s, me not so much. So that's what we're going to get. Only change I made was the brake bias down to 45, 4 or something like that. Somewhere in that range. Let's just say high 45s. Not my greatest lap. Oh, I didn't speak about a keys of the race car. That ain't happening. So let's just say it's a really, really bumpy place. Easy to lock up. No room for error or you die in most cases. Mostly under braking. Did I mention it's bumpy? I don't know. I don't like this place. Anyway, we're just going to show the lap. And maybe I'll talk about it. We'll see how this goes. So yeah, there's the thingy. Here we go. And there we are. You can obviously see lap times aren't, aren't close to what I was hoping for, but that's uh, the best we can do. All right, so let's talk about it, I guess. There are some important things. All right, you may have seen the clutch being used there. Don't worry about it. It's not really important, but I've been using that, so yeah, it's not really necessary, but it's there. I guess you go to one, so pretty tough brake zone you just get to fourth play fourth gear and here's where i'm braking and you could push this a little further i just didn't and i was actually i'm not gonna lie i lost a lot of time in these first two corners just compared to what it was gonna be that was the first lap by the way so i'm braking pretty much when that five markers out of you see how they have the markers oh shit there's no five marker well where it would be is where i'm getting on the brakes pretty hard Remember, it's really bumpy, so you gotta be careful not to lock it up. Downshift to third, all the way to second gear. Keep it as close to the right side of the wall. Once I'm, you can pretty much see already a groove there. <laughs> let me let me go a little bit forward. You can barely see it right here. This is the arc we're following. I think that was from a previous attempt where I locked it up, but still. That's what we're following. We're going to turn in, get as close to the inside wall as possible without smacking it because, yes, I've done it. Now here, you want to throttle up, but here's something I'll say. The further out you get, but you do want to use all the track, you lose a lot of rear grip, which is why you'll see it step out on me here. Let me see. A little bit. All right, so here I'm braking. I'm not exactly sure, but 
I actually don't know how to explain this. You see right here what I'm circling? Yeah, I got the logo with the actual wording shield of what the fuck does that say? Either way, that thing, I'm looking at that and kind of looking right here too at this little, you know, turning left logo on the, you know, the road. Hard on the brakes. For, now, I seen some people downshift to first gear. I couldn't be bothered with it. So, yeah. And another one. This is another one of those corners that you don't want to turn in too late. Because you need to be really close to this inside wall. There's a little bit of banking there, if you will. You want to throw it up as soon as you feel it. Rotate. If not, you'll be giving up some time, which I know I did. Like I said, I messed up those uh, first two corners. All the way up to fourth gear. Something you can't see here is really on edge through this section. And I'm going to start breaking as soon as we get this left front close to the end of the Coca-Cola sign. Or logo. And you want to be really careful here. Hard on the brakes. This is kind of why I do the heel toe thing. It's much more stable doing it that way. You want to downshift a little bit. Keep it nice and straight. The car naturally wants to pull you to the right. I know I backed it up a little bit, but we're looking at this two-in-one marker. See, I'm already on, I'm already well on the brakes at this point. Like I've been breaking for a while. I'm going to start turning in right when we get past this one. So right here, we start turning in. Again, you don't want to pound the wall because you'll die for it. Even if this wall doesn't get you, the McDonald's one will. Here you want to play with the throttle and brake. Real tricky. Get on the brakes as soon as you're halfway through the McDonald's sign. Start turning in and releasing the brake. Get as close to this inside wall. Because you want to get a good exit, which here too kind of falls off. All the way to fourth gear again. Now here's another one I had trouble being consistent because if you're not over here to the right, you'll miss where this brace makes contact with this four marker. And if you are more this way, say making a pass, you can start using this light post over here. Right next to the A-pillar. So let's get on the brakes really hard. Once this brace happens, I'm hard on the brakes. Got to downshift all the way to second gear. And it's another one of those ones where I've seen people go to first, which honestly, it's not too bad of an idea. Gives you a nice decel and lets you uh, get off the corner pretty well. Now again, get as close to this wall, but you also wanted to keep it out on the end of this brake zone. I mean, see what I mean? Like, I didn't turn in until this starts happening. Just after the one. You turn in, trail brake, let her roll, get as close to that wall, start throttling up at apex. Again, grit falls away exit, especially over this hill, which is another tricky brake zone, but as soon as I'm crossing over the crest, if you will, I'm on the brakes again. Downshifting the first, all the way out towards the wall, then turn in. Try to get as close to this right side. Again, if you cut it too early, I'll screw the exit up. I'm still in first gear. I'm going to shift while getting on the brakes. It's just a weird thing I do, I guess. Get as close to that inside rail. Here you want to kind of feel the car out for grip. Around 90 miles an hour. As far as you want to let it drop. It, it kind of steps away because of all the bumps. It gets really weird through here. But you basically want to be as close to that left side wall. You see, they even on the side of the line. You just want to be there. This is where I'm throttling up, but you got to break almost immediately. Just a touch. Oh, well, I'm lifting, actually. Get as close to the wall now. Here, I'm just going to say this is the worst section of the track for me because everything's bouncing. It's horrible. Let's play that at full speed. You see there, it's kind of out of whack. You kind of want to be on throttle through here, but it's hard to. And that's where I'm losing time to faster guys. But we're getting on the brakes about once you get the car settled, I guess. Downshift to first again. Same thing as all the other 90 degree turns. The whole track's 90 degree turns, but yeah. Throttle up at eight banks. You do get a little bit of wheel spin, so shift to second, but you can't just step on it hard on the brakes. I admit I was talking about I was talking about something else and I got distracted. So let me slow mo it. As soon as we land into this, and there's one of these turn thingy paint lines if you will you know, it tells you there's a turn up ahead we're gonna break pretty hard there and again you can go to first gear but i don't keep it out a little bit once you get to the end of these dots turn right 
close to the inside wall and use a ball track. And it also gets weird because there's a lot of wavy bumps. And yeah. All right, that's it for this track, God. I know it could have been way better now that I got everything sorted. I can hopefully get things back to normal. So yeah, I don't know what the next track is, but we'll be there. It's a recent Jewish side.